everybody thank you so much for coming here this evening um, overseas Pakistan solidarity is a non-profit non-political non-religious global organization with its head office in London UK our membership is open to all Pakistanis irrespective of their political <coughs> allegiance or religious belief our vision to establish strong ties of solidarity amongst all overseas Pakistanis to promote their social, economic circumstances and create a secure, strong and safe Pakistan that bonds our future generations with their ancestral heritage. Our mission, OPS is a global, pro-overseas Pakistani lobby, that's us all, <laughs> whose aim is to safeguard the basic and extended human rights of all people of Pakistani heritage. Um, without further ado, and I do apologize for starting a little later than we expected, um, I would like to introduce Lord, His Lordship, His Honorable Lordship, Shaukat Saab, and uh, he has the distinction of being, I think, the one and only Sheriff of Nottingham that we've had from our community, and uh, if there's any uh, Robin Hoods out there, I think they better do a runner now. Please talk us about please. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, may I first of all thank the OPS for arranging this launch. This is a launch in a sense that uh, we are first time uh, going public and uh, it's all due to the efforts of chairman. Uh, Javed Malik Saab and his team of dedicated people, uh, of which I had the honor also to be part of. We are facing many problems, Pakistanis, whether they are British or in other parts of the country, and we know that it's not going to be that easy to achieve all of those things. What Nadia has read out is a very tall agenda. Some will take years to come, but at least it's a vision. It's a vision to achieve something, to do something. We have a problem here of one which relates to our own country, whether it's the visa thing, whether it's the uh, security of our investment in Pakistan, or whether it's our identity. So I hope very much that in the, at the end of this day, that, or this evening, that not only that you will enjoy the food and the music, but also see the serious aspect of what Overseas Pakistani <coughs> stands for. And I hope that you will support it and so on. And I must thank Javed Malik Saab and all of his team, both from London, from Bristol, from Manchester, or forever, wherever they are, who have done a lot of work, who have put a lot of effort, eight, nine months of hard work, which is <coughs> invisible, but we hope that from tonight that you will see that and you will be part of that one. So thank you very much for allowing me to say a few words and welcoming you and good luck. I will thank you all for the opportunity to you and the opportunity to invite me here. And this overseas Pakistanis میرے خیال سے یہ تو بہت ہمیں اگر پہلے بھی اگر ہم کرتے تو بڑی ہماری ہیلپ ہوتی بٹ اٹس نیور ٹو لیٹ ہم نے ابھی بیچ میں بھی دیکھا تھا کہ کتنی جس ٹائم ووٹنگ کا سلسلہ ہوا تھا اوورسیز کا کس طریقے سے ہمیں یہاں پہ ٹریٹ کیا گیا وین ہماری یہاں پہ اسٹرینتھ تھی انگلینڈ کے اندر الون کوئی چار لاکھ تیس ہزار ووٹرس کی اینڈ مجھے انفارمیشن یہ ہے کہ کینیڈا کے اندر کوئی سات لاکھ ہمارے ووٹرس تھے ریجسٹرڈ ووٹر جن کو چیف الیکشن کمشنر اور نے ہمیں ڈپرائیو کیا یہ ایک ایشو بہت امپورٹنٹ ہے اگر ہم نے اس ملک کے اندر رسپیکٹ کے ساتھ رہنا ہے ادروائز ہم بہت چھپے چھپے رہیں گے 
आइसोलेटेड रहेंगे और सब ड्यूट हमारे बच्चे जो न्यू जनरेशन के आएंगे वो अब ब्रेक होंगे खैर जी मेरी ये तो एक था व्यू अब मलिक साहब आपको बहुत मुबारक हो और अल्लाह करे ये सारे यहाँ जितने सब लोग बैठे हैं सब मेंबर बनेंगे मेंबरशिप कोई ऐसी बड़ी नहीं है बीस पाउंड की रखी है वो तो मेरे ख्याल से उससे तो मालूम नहीं क्या होगा बीस से तो कोई काम बनेगा नहीं मगर चलिए स्टार्ट है और अल्लाह ताला आपको कामयाबी दे सलामिक I'm very happy to be here today and to see all of you and I would uh, like to felicitate uh, the organizers of this program for arranging this uh, get together and uh, this way we get a chance uh, to share our views um I would like to introduce myself first as uh, she has also introduced me briefly I'm the community welfare attache and uh, I'm representing the Ministry of Overseas Pakistanis in Pakistan High Commission my uh, the doors of my office are open for all of you for the entire community for any kind of problem you may be having and uh, your uh, any input from you any suggestions uh, are most welcome at the same time i would like to tell you about a few ongoing programs and things just to update one is that uh, there is uh, a special uh, cell of a vakki mutasib which has been specially set up for the overseas pakistanis in case they have problem with any department any government agency in pakistan they can give the application and it may be routed through my office so the procedure is that you go on the website you apply for it there are two forms technically requirement form and personal history form fill them up and it will be you know then your names will be shortlisted and duration varies from 2 to 36 weeks so it will be uh, your own choice and of course also uh, depends on uh, the requirement of that particular uh, field there and it will be in a form of a workshop or seminars uh, which will be organized there bismillah ir rahman ir rahim चेयरमैन मिस्टर जावेद मलक डिस्टिंग गेस्ट कम्युनिटी वेलफेयर अटैची फिजा बतू लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन असलम एंड गुड इवनिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स टू द चेयरमैन एंड आल्सो द ऑर्गेनाइजर हु इनवाइट अस बट द नोटिस वाज वेरी शॉर्ट i explain on telephone to the gentleman but uh, we try our best myself and uh, community welfare attache fiza batun to attend this important meeting because this is for the sake of community for the solidarity of pakistan and we are committed pakistan and uh, community welfare <coughs> attache already explained our motto that we are here for the community to assist to help any problem you have relevant to pakistan government or britain government we are also work for the prosperity of great britain and also attend and mix with the <coughs> indigenous community thank you very much indeed for your kind invitation सबसे पहले तो मैं आप सबका शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ आप सब आए आपने में और इस सॉलिडरिटी का हिस्सा बनने के लिए बहुत सारे हमारे दोस्त यहाँ बैठे हैं जिन्होंने हमें पूरी बैकिंग दी है मेरी टीम जो हमारे साथ शुरू से चल रही थी इसने इसमें हमारी बहुत मदद की और उसमें मैं सबसे पहले लॉर्ड शौक नवाज साहब का शुक्र अदा करता हूँ और अपने तनवीर साहब हैं और अख्तर साहब चौधरी अख्तर साहब इनका भी और ये सॉलिडरिटी के मेन लोगों में से हैं और फाउंडर्स में से भी हैं सबसे पहली बात तो ये है कि स्ट्रक्चर देने से पहले मैं चंद बातें बताना चाहता हूँ कि जैसे हमारे साहबजादा साहब ने पहले कहा कि पैंतालीस लाख तैतालीस लाख वोट नहीं बल्कि सैंतालीस लाख वोट थे And we went to the Nadra. हमने जब वहाँ से डेटा सिस्टम निकलवाया 
دو سو کے سنتالیس لاکھ ووٹ ریجسٹر تھے اس کے بعد ابھی کافی ریجسٹر ہونے والے تھے ووٹ اور حقیقت ہے کہ ایک وزوور اچیفمنٹ کہ ہم نے وہ دوبارہ پٹیشن کو کروایا ہم نے نئی پٹیشن دی ہے اس کے بعد ہمارے ساتھ جو نیٹو کے ہیمن رائٹس گروپس ہیں انہوں نے بھی ہمارے ساتھ سیکنڈ پٹیشن دی ہے and they are also like to work with overseas Pakistan solidarity so mashallah ہمیں دن بر دن ہم سٹرونگ ہوتے جا رہے ہیں اور پوری دنیا سے لوگ جو ہیں چپٹرز کھولنے کو تیار ہیں محنت کرنے کو تیار ہیں اور سب سے بڑی خوشکبری یہ ہے ہمارے لیے کہ فوزیہ قصوری صاحبہ جو ہمارے ساتھ اوورسیز پاکستان سولیڈیریٹی میں آ چکی ہیں انہوں نے ہمیں کہا ہے کہ وہ اوورسیز پاکستان سولیڈیریٹی سے اب کام کریں گی اور انشاءاللہ تعالیٰ وہ اپنی پوری زندگی اوورسیز پاکستان سولیڈیریٹی کے لیے ٹیم ہوتے ہیں مائی talk is a bit more personal on a personal basis i was asked to speak for about five ten minutes by the chairman last night so i had to quickly put something together so i apologize for having something in my hand um, first of all i'd like to thank the chairman and distinguished members of ops uh, who have shown such confidence such confidence uh, by bestowing such an honorable position on me president of ops as i left home today I, I did remark to my wife <coughs> that it's nice to be important, as a joke. Uh, to which she replied, but remember, it's important to be nice. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll repeat that. I said, as I left this morning, I did remark to my wife that it's nice to be important, as in being the president, uh, to which she replied, it's more important to be nice. Okay. <laughs> um, I would also like to uh, say that by taking the position of president of OPS, I do feel <coughs> challenged and excited. Challenged because it is a position of great responsibility and excited because it gives me the chance to give something back to the community. اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں وہ کہتے ہیں کہ جب کچھ بن نہ سکا تو ڈوبو دیں گے سفینہ ساحل کی قسم منت طوفان نہ کرے گی آرنیدر صاحب نے کہا کہ بھوک بڑی لگی ہے تو کھانے کا وعدہ تو اللہ نے کیا ہے جب مقصد بڑا ہو تو کھانا اور بھوک نہیں دیکھی جاتی میں ایک یا دو منٹ لوں گا ملک جاوید صاحب آپ نے بیڑا تو اچھا اٹھا ہے اور کیانی صاحب کیونکہ میرے بڑے بھائی بھی ہیں اور ہماری پارٹی ایک ہی تھی بد نصیب یہ کہ میں اس کشتی کا سوار نہیں رہا اور یہ بھی حقیقت ہے بکل چودری شجاعت کے کہ ہون مٹی پاؤ کہ دو تین دن کی بات ہے کیانی صاحب کی جو جوب ہے مجھے نہیں پتا پرو لانگ کرے گی یا نہیں کرے گی لیکن کچھ مسائل آپ نے یہ رکھے ہیں آغاز اچھا ہے او پی ایس کا ہمیں ایک پورٹ کی ضرورت ہے کیٹی بندہ اب کیٹی بندر جب بنے گی تو مزدوری میں نہیں کروں گا مزدوری ایک پنجابی کرے گا ایک ملتانی کرے گا ایک پشتون کرے گا ایک بلوچ کرے گا ملک کو فائدہ ہوا تو ہم یہ لکھیں کہ کیٹی بندر کیا ہے اسٹیل مل ایک بن گئی شہید بھٹو چلے گئے آج اسٹیل مل پورا پاکستان کا ایک گلدستہ ہے اسی طرح آپ کچھ بنائیں ایسے پروجیکٹس ہوں سیمیڈ انڈرسیز ہیں فشریز ہیں اور چار ہمارے انڈرسیز بڑی امپورٹنٹ ہیں اور حلال فوڈ بہت آ رہا ہے دنیا میں اگر ہم اپنے ملک کو یہ کر لیں تو میں سنے یہ بڑا کام ہوگا پھر سال میں محفل غزل بھی ہو ہم سب بھی کھانے کا وعدہ اللہ نے کیا ہے کوئی پیتا ہے تو ہمیں اس پر اعتراض نہیں ہے پاکستان زندہ بات آپ کو رہتا ہے I think there will be lot of hurdles will come in our way and especially as I said that when we was there for few months and we was trying to get the rights for the Pakistani overseas Pakistanis for their voting rights and uh, which we did achieve from the Supreme Court after we had a meeting with the <coughs> over Chief Justice Saab and with Lord Shaukar Saab was with me as well. Just we say only we are Pakistani. The Punjabi, Balochi, Sindhi, Urdu speaking, they all think I say when you being overseas refuse all things and say we are Pakistani 
and when any issues come front of us or maybe front of like a, in the UK, US, whatever, we should stand like a, as a United Nation, being a Pakistani, being a Pakistani, being a Pakistani, that's it. I think it's very important that all the Pakistanis living in the UK, we should unite because I believe this is the time to unite because we are going to face a lot of trouble, especially after the, the stabbing of the soldier. And uh, overseas Pakistan solidarity is a very good platform to unite Pakistanis and that can take us forward. Overseas Pakistan और उसके जो जितने भी लोग हैं यहाँ पाकिस्तानी रहते हैं पाकिस्तान से बहुत मोहब्बत करते हैं और इस कॉन्सर्ट में आया हूँ आज शो कर रहा हूँ और मुझे लग रहा है आज पाकिस्तान पूरा उमंड के आ गया है और पाकिस्तान की मोहब्बतें इन शाला बाँटने यहाँ आया हूँ और इस पाकिस्तान की इस यहाँ जो पाकिस्तानी रहते हैं उनकी मोहब्बतें वहाँ देने आया हूँ तो अल्लाह तला इसको कामयाब करे इस पाकिस्तानी को इसी तरह कायम रखे आबाद रखे थैंक यू वेरी मच पहली बार खड़े होंगे जाम में बैठने का तब कौन दिया Big 
Allah 